In 2020, over 12,000 people went missing in British Columbia, Canada. Nationwide, in all of Canada, over 29,000 went missing. That leaves BC with the distinction of having the most missing people at over 40%. Now, some people are found. Many just want to slip away and live a private, quiet life. Still some meet a nefarious end through gang activity, criminal action. Tens of thousands of people go missing worldwide each and every year. So what's going on? Summer, 1964. Location, the interior of British Columbia, Canada. On a picture-perfect summer day, a young man of 22 years decides to take a road trip, head up country, visit with family and friends. A drive he's taken many times. The route, just over 500 miles. Easy peasy. So he leaves mid-morning, drives through into the afternoon, and that evening, something happens. Something life-changing. He wakes up in his car on the side of the road, and that's all he remembered until years later. Cases of alien abduction are highlighted by the case of Betty and Barney Hill from 1961. You may want to Google that. And brought to attention of the world by a book by Whitley Strieber called Communion. We believe that book is embellished and a work of fiction, capitalizing on people's belief system and UFOlogy in general. There are many hypotheticals about alien abduction. The similarity of cases around the world are uncanny. Sometimes they're in Africa, Central America, Europe. They all have a familiar theme. They're taken into a craft and examined. The Travis Walton case is one of the most compelling, as there were many witnesses to his abduction. As for the young man I spoke of in the beginning of this story, he went through 30 years of nightmares, 30 years of strange thoughts, and then he went under hypnosis and a startling realization came to him. He believes he was abducted by alien greys and physically examined, joining legions of people that claim the same thing. Today, he studies the subject, communicates with others that have had a similar experience, joining an elite group, if you want to call it that, of people, possibly abducted by aliens on a dark night on a lonely, desolate road. Some cases of missing people in the wilderness of North America have been laid at the feet of the Sasquatch. Yes, a creature that is legendary and maybe mythical has been blamed for people disappearing. There are many stories. Most are over the top and impossible to prove is true. Still, it makes people concerned when they go into the bush they may encounter such creatures that have an agenda to get rid of as many humans as possible. More than likely, people simply become lost, disoriented, and meet a natural death through misadventure. Vancouver, Saltwater City, City by the Sea, Ocean Pearl, and Hollywood North. Some romantic names apply to this picturesque city, Canada's largest on the west coast. There is a dark history. In the 80s, a serial killer named Robert Picton preyed on the marginalized and drug-addicted women of Vancouver's downtown east side 
Skid Row, plying them with drugs and taking them to his farm and killing them. No one knows how many times this monster killed. Fortunately, he was caught and is currently incarcerated back east in a federal penitentiary. In recent years, a number of young people have gone missing, both men and women. Sometimes there's drinking involved. They get separated from their party and simply vanish. Some of these disappearances are related to crime, as I said earlier. Others are genuine mysteries. Now, if you're drunk, you're inebriated, and you're wandering around a city at night, that's not a wise idea. There is evil out there, and certainly you could become a victim. Do not trust smiling faces, and do not trust strangers. Be careful. When it comes to missing people, Canada's Indigenous population has suffered the most. Hundreds and hundreds of missing Indigenous women and men. From the northern parts of British Columbia, the so-called Highway of Tears, across this great nation. A national shame, a blight on our society. First Nations people have been treated with disregard for too long. Things are changing, but far too slowly. The number of cases of missing Indigenous people is staggering. Too many, too many unsolved cases. If you know of any information related to missing people, regardless of race or creed, please reach out to the authorities. In the meanwhile, you stay safe.